What is an irrigation master valve? And do you need one? I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and this is Sprinkler TV. All right, so today, what we're gonna talk about is one of the most frequently asked questions that we see in forums, we see on YouTube, and we get calls here at Sprinkler Supply Store, and that is, what is an irrigation master valve, and do I need one on my system? And the simple answer is, drum roll please, maybe. It is always a good idea, if you can afford it, to have a master valve. And essentially, what an irrigation master valve is, is the addition of another valve at the very beginning of your system. Before any of your zone valves, the master valve is installed on the main line pipe. Okay, and what that means is here, I happen to have two valves here. They're both Weathermatic valves because we just had one next door. If this is your zone valve, and it's downstream, the master valve gets installed before any of the zones. And the purpose of it is to essentially depressurize your mainline pipe. So we're not gonna get into all the details of how an irrigation system works, but essentially the pipe that feeds your valves is full of water and pressurized all the time. So if you took a shovel and you broke that mainline pipe, you would have a geyser indefinitely until you go to your main water supply uh, valve and you turn it off, okay? So to prevent mainline pipe breaks from happening, you can install a master valve to depressurize the system when it is not in operation. And that does two things. Number one, it prevents leaks from occurring when the system is not running. And number two, because your mainline pipe is not pressurized, it can allow the system to last longer because the pipe is not under pressure continuously. So that is sort of what we might call the basic purpose of a master valve. Depressurize the system and keep the system um, off when the sprinkler system is not running. There is, however, a second purpose of a master valve, which requires a more advanced control system. And that is a master valve that can be in the normally open configuration, okay? So generally speaking, a master valve is normally closed, just like all your other valves. So when zone two comes on, the controller also sends a signal to the master valve. So the master valve is always coming on when every other zone valve is operating. That way the valve can open, water can flow through the pipe and your sprinklers can operate. The second type of master valve is a normally open master valve. And that means water can flow through it 24 seven which will not do, as I said before, which would be to depressurize the main. But if you have an advanced control system like a baseline control system or a weather track control system or a more advanced hunter system or rainbird system, maybe you have a cal sensor or a rain master, these systems are generally in the thousands of dollars and they allow for a normally open master valve in the addition to a flow sensor. So if the control system is measuring water flowing through the pipe at a non-scheduled irrigation time, that would tell the system, hey, I have a break. There's nothing running on the controller right now. No zones are operating, but there's water flowing through the pipe. That must be a break and the controller can actually send a signal to the master valve and automatically shut the water off so that you can prevent that leak from occurring and get notified and dispatch a crew or go out there yourself and fix it. So um, I've kind of been a little all over the place, but number one is a normally closed master valve that depressurizes the pipe. And every time a station runs, the master valve opens, allows water to flow through the pipe. And as soon as scheduled irrigation is complete, the master valve then closes and your mainline pipe is no longer under pressure. The second type is a normally open master valve that allows water to flow through the pipe at any moment. But if your smart controller senses a high flow or a leak, then the master valve can close and depressurize the system right at the source so that you don't have that continuous leak. I hope that helps explain it. I would say residentially, they're not that common, but it doesn't add a lot of cost to the system. All you need is another valve, perhaps another valve box. So for a couple hundred bucks, 
you can have a master valve on your system and it should extend the life of your irrigation system a little bit because again it's not under pressure so keep that in mind if you're considering a new irrigation system i'd probably recommend just add a master valve like i said it's not that expensive and if you have a system it may not be worth it to come in and add another valve because you do need another wire and sometimes running a, a spare wire from your controller out to where you want to put in a master valve is not always that easy and it can cost a lot more to add a master valve after. So hope that helps. If you have any questions about a master valve, feel free to drop a comment down below or give us a call at Sprinkler Supply Store. You can reach us by phone, chat, email and text message. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.